My name is Fernando Rubinstein. I recently joined the Global Health Network as a new training manager. The project is mainly um, providing free open access resources to strengthen uh, research capacity building to the world, but mainly tailored to low and middle income countries where research, formal research training um, is not that accessible because of cost, because of geography, because of other things that need to be strengthened from um, um, an organization such as this one, which will allow uh, access to resources free of charge through the platform of offering many diversity of training resources. Well, there were many, um, some of the launching of new project, uh, new courses on the TGHN platform. One is the WHO ethics course, which is um, a seven module course, a community engagement course with NIHR, uh, the new project, the new program, the postgraduate um, diploma, which is the only the first online program from the University of Oxford, uh, providing uh, research skills to uh, researchers in the world completely online. So they do not have to travel, they do not have expenses. It's, it's a, mu a much uh, better way to, to um, guarantee more equity in training. And there is a new project, a Welcome project, uh, funded by Welcome, to set up a research network in Latin America, in which six different countries of Latin America are tasked with the development of, of capacity building activities to strengthen the research uh, areas in the countries in Latin America, both in general and specifically devoted to some of the diseases, priority diseases in the region. One of the main challenges probably is the limited access that many, many people and, and countries have to formal training resources. So this is something that TJHN does greatly in, in terms of providing those resources. But probably the main uh, challenge is obtaining funding from governments, from agencies, from the industry to sustain this over time. More than for patients, it's for research communities and for communities itself, because trying to uh, support the research uh, training, the research capacity building for research groups in different countries, able to answer their own questions, connecting this huge knowledge sharing hub through the platform is what makes the great difference uh, for those different groups that do not have access to other ways of training and research. This is why this is so important, to be able to provide resources to people, groups and communities which otherwise do not have access to it in a way that's free of charge, trying to work collaboratively in, in the, with the whole world, with different institutions, researchers with more experience. That is what makes a real difference. And why it should be funded? Well, mainly it should be sustained to be able to maintain this great uh, task over time to really benefit the research capacity of those countries and groups which uh, are more limited to, um, to be trained in other ways.